The long-awaited video is finally here. You guys are constantly asking me, Elcon, how do you macro hyper darts? How do you do it automatically? Whether it's UG phone, you know, emulators, how do you do it in general? Well, I got you guys covered. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it with UG phone and how you can do it in emulator as well, or pretty much anything that you can run an auto clicker on. But before we get into that, all I ask from you guys in return is to click that subscribe button because I would greatly appreciate it. And definitely make sure to share this video with your friends that need help or just anybody in general. General. But now that we got out of the way, let's get into macroing hyper darts to where you can get Infinity Elixir or pretty much anything you want to go for. So real quick, a lot of people ask me, Elcon, how do you run multiple accounts in general? Well, I use UG Phone. And a lot of you are probably thinking, Elcon, what is UG Phone? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is right now. UG Phone is a 24-7 cloud-based service, meaning it's running on the cloud. So it uses no computer resources whatsoever. You never have to worry about overheating, lag, or anything like that because it's just running on the servers in the cloud. So you can set up your Roblox accounts on UG Phone devices. Once you have that done, you can fully shut down your computer, your electricity could go out, your internet could go out, anything like that, and your accounts will still be running on your UG Phone devices doing whatever you set it up to do. UG Phone is available for download on Android, iOS, and even the Windows app, meaning you can actually download a UG Phone app. And if you're not comfortable with downloading anything and you're worried about viruses, then you can just go to the UG Phone website, go to the web client, access all your devices from there. If you guys would like to try out UG Phone yourself, all you're gonna do is click the link in the description down below or use my code E1KONN. Once you do that, you'll get 688 free diamonds that you can convert into a free device and try it out yourself. I do want to let everyone know that UG Phone is indeed a paid service, so eventually once your free device runs out, you will indeed have to pay for another device or add more time via subscription, but the prices are very affordable. So there we go, you guys now know pretty much everything to do with UG Phone. Let's get into setting up hyper darts now to where you can automatically do it without having to be there. All right, so here is UG Phone. This is what it will look like once you download the UG Phone app. Now, if you don't want your devices like this, you can just click portrait or landscape mode. It doesn't really matter. But either way, this is what your devices will look like. Once you use my code and or the link, you'll get free diamonds that you can convert into a device and it will pop up here. And like I said before, the prices are very affordable. If you go to the buy section, you can see the different prices. Now, they will obviously be different depending on where you're from, like what country, but you can go through and buy whatever device you want. The higher the device you go, the more performance it will be so you know less lag and stuff like that but you really do not need one of those super overpowered devices you can go with whatever you feel comfortable with you know gvip uvip go from there and you'll have no problem running roblox so let's get into macroing so i'm going to click on my device here it's going to open up and this is what it's going to look like now you're not going to have roblox or anything like that you're going to need to make sure that you download that stuff yourself so all you gotta do is go to google play and or the game center download roblox and you're gonna make sure you download an auto clicker so I'm actually going to go in here. You're just going to type in auto clicker like so. You can do auto clicker for Roblox. It doesn't really matter. And make sure you download this one, which is called auto clicker automatic tap. This one by far is the best in my opinion. You can go with whatever you want, but this is the one I'm going to be using for an example in this video. So now that you have everything installed, you're just going to open up your auto clicker. It's going to ask you to do a couple options, blah, 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 until you get to this part right here. Now you're going to enable multi targets mode. You just click enable. Now it's not going to ask you this. I already have a macro set up. So I'm actually going to click mine and show you guys what it looks like. So once I do this, you're going to see these options over here. And then you're not going to see this. This is what my macro looks like, but I'll show you guys in a better position here. So once you have your auto clicker fully open, you're then going to go to Roblox. You're going to make sure you log into your account, of course. And like I said, there's nothing unsafe about it. I have no problem with logging in my devices. You don't have to worry about your information getting stolen or anything like that. So all you gotta do is go to the game that you want to AFK. Obviously, for instance, it's BGSI because we're going for Hyper Dark. So I'm gonna go to my private server here. All right, so I am now in my private server as soon as it fully loads here. And as you can see, all these, you know, dots on your screen. Well, that is the auto clicker points. So I'll show you guys more here in a moment, but we got to head over to the Hyper Dart section in general. We got to go to the good old Hyper Wave Island, teleport. And we are now here. Now, you might get a little glitch here where you can't move. Just make sure to go to map, then exit out of it real quick, and you'll be able to move no problem. All right, so just like so, we have hyper darts here. But the reason there's so many dots here is because these ones out here will be the ones, you know, shooting the darts and trying to get you to meet that goal to where you have no problem with, you know, completing easy, medium, hard, and insane. I love to do insane. My macro currently is set up for insane mode only because it gives you more drops, more chances for infinity elixir, and pretty much anything you're going for in general. That's inside hyper dart. So when I walk over here to hyper darts, you're going to make sure you go in the middle. So you can close the UI. 
where you're not outside the circle because you are going to need to jump. That is how you're going to be able to, you know, use a skip ticket and just keep automatically doing it without actually having to be here manually. So as you can see, I have one point down here that's on the jump button. That's because it's going to make me jump and then it's going to open up the UI. Now it's not going to do it every single time. You just got to click it a couple times. It will do it for you. And then the UI will open. So as you see, I have my second dot here right on insane mode. Yes, this actually does click insane mode. Don't worry. And then this one right here is for the claim button. So after you completely finish hyper darts, you're going to get a bunch of rewards and the claim button is going to pop up. You have to click that claim button because it will actually get in the way of the other UI, you know, like skipping the ticket and that type of stuff. So you do need to make sure that you have a point right there. Now, all these other ones really don't do anything they are just there to shoot the darts so you can put them there randomly it doesn't matter where you exactly put them as long as they don't hit any other you know in-game options out there after the game is fully finished so you want to make sure they don't hit like you know season five competitive items you also want to make sure they don't hit like map trading quest or even take you to the shop to buy gems or something like that so you need to make sure that they are in a good position the best way to do that is by going into the game itself so i'm going to go in here to an insane mode and then you can figure out where you want to put them from here as you can see i'm pretty much covering the whole entire board so as soon as i turn this on i'm going to be shooting darts as you can see boom it is launching all those darts i'm not doing a single thing it is doing it all automatically now you're not going to hit all the balloons each time it is a random chance that your dart hits it but i've tried this multiple times over and over and well i know a lot of people that do this as well and they meet the goal for insane mode no problem i've also tested it like i said and i meet it no problem which i'll let you guys you know find out for yourself we started it brand new as you can see i'm almost going to be completing it and we still have a minute and 16 seconds left And there we go. We completed it. No problem. Did take a little bit longer, but it's going to be different each time. It just depends on where your darts are going to be fired. So as you can see, it's going to click the claim button. If it doesn't the first time, it definitely will hit it the second time. It's going to go through. It's going to use the dart. Now, it accidentally did click the shop, which I probably need to remove that. Let's see which one actually like the shop it's a very random placement you just need to make sure it's in the right position so i don't know what happened there it's not even close to the shop so i don't know why it popped up i'm gonna turn it on it's going to do everything for me it's gonna start it up again and go right through that same process so i went ahead and left it just to make sure that it would do everything so it jumped i didn't do anything it's now going to skip and then it's going to go right into insane mode As soon as it stops clicking, there we go. It went into insane mode and now it's going to do everything all over again. Like I said, you don't have to copy this exactly, you know, to all points, you know, in the same position. You can put them wherever you want as long as they're in a good position for you. Now, you definitely want to copy these three right here if you want to do insane mode. If not, you're going to make sure that you put them in a different position. So basically what I like to go off of is the skip ticket. So you want to make sure that you're able to hit the skip position and the mode as well so i have it set for insane mode let's say i want to do hard mode i would just move it right over here to the corner of the skip you know ui and then it would start doing hard mode automatically without me doing anything else say i wanted to do easy mode you just put it right up here to this little corner in the middle is going to be over the actual mode and then say I wanted to do, you know, medium or something, then I would just move it right over here like so. So if you want to do insane mode, this is the exact placement you're going to need. You're going to want to make sure you put a button here that does the claim for you, then the specific mode that you want to do. Then you want to make sure you put a dot on top of the jump UI. And then you want to make sure you put a dot on the jump UI. And like I said, these ones out here are completely random. I just put them in random spots that don't really interfere with anything, but still are able to hit a majority of the balloons but you can do whatever you want. Like I said, it's totally up to you. And then say you get this all set up, you're good to go. You have everything working perfectly. And all you gotta do is head over here to the setting icon for the auto clicker. You're gonna go up here and edit the name. I called mine hyper darts. And then you're just gonna scroll all the way down and click save. Once you click save, it's gonna create a config for you. And as you can see at the start, when I click, you know, the auto clicker app, it allowed me to load up my config, you know, whatever one I wanted to. So the dots will automatically be here. They'll just be 
be pushed on the side of your screen because your phone will be currently in vertical mode until you launch Roblox and launch into the game. Then it will turn into horizontal mode and the dots will go back to the original place that you had it. But there we go. That is how you indeed macro hyper darts automatically without having to do it manually. On UG phone, you can set it up all the same on every single device. You just go through the same exact steps, like I said, and you should have no problem. Now, obviously, the only way it's going to be super beneficial for you is if you have a lot of super tickets. If you don't, then you're going to have to go, you know, either farm board game or farm the mini games manually to try to get more super tickets. There's other ways out there. Just try to get as many as you possibly can. And once you have a bunch of them, then you can go about, you know, macroing hyper darts and well, get a bunch of infinity elixir or whatever you're going for. Now, I don't think I pointed this out. If you guys want to add more dots like these, all you got to do is just click the plus button. It will add one onto the screen and you can move it wherever you want. But make sure you don't go over 12 because it will have another page popped up and then it won't really work as well. I don't think it will unless it will go through the same exact pages. Like if you have another page, it will go to the next page and then click and then go back. I don't really know about that one, but honestly, you don't need that many. So I would just stick with, you know, 12 in total and if you want to get rid of a dot all you gotta do is click the minus button and it will take away a dot but there we go that is how you indeed macro hyper darts on ug phone and it's the same thing on an emulator as well you just download the same exact things put the dots wherever you want them except for the three that i showed you definitely make sure you put them for those if you're going for insane mode and there you go it's that simple and easy so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful like i said if you guys want to try out ug phone the link is in the description down below to give you an easy registration and make sure to use my code as well which is e1konn -N. once you use one of those whether it's the link and the code it will give you 688 free diamonds to give you a free device to where you can start macroing hyper darts yourself if you guys haven't already then definitely make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to never miss an upload thank you guys again like always and i'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.